Hello, welcome to the Crates Motel. My name's Conan. In today's video, we're going to take another look at the new Akai MPC desktop software 3.5 beta mouthful and work with it in tandem with the MPC one. And I want to point out a few things. Basically, I'm starting to warm to it a little bit, but I've had to change my mindset. Let's jump in. So before we get into it, I just want to explain what I was going on about mindset. And this comes from a conversation I had with somebody yesterday. And we both kind of agreed between us that perhaps the mindset, my mindset, I'm speaking for myself here, but I do believe there are other people that are also feeling this way. My mindset was wrong when it came to the desktop software. I was thinking that Akai were releasing a piece of desktop software that was perhaps going to replace my door. So it needed to be as good as Studio One on every level. Uh, I'm using Studio One as an example because that's the door that I use. And that mindset was wrong because with that mindset, I was just looking at the Akai software and thinking, well, it doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do this. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that I wasn't looking at it and thinking, wow, it can do this because I was. I wasn't being completely negative. That's not how my brain works. My brain works, I don't know if, it, <laughs> I suppose it does work like some other people's, but I don't just go down, down the negative path or I don't just take a left turn into positive street. I try and be a realist. So I look at the good and the bad and I try and weigh them up, balance them out and see the pros and cons, I suppose. And that's what I think my job is uh, as a content creator, if I'm doing reviews, is to be honest, be transparent, find the goods and the bads. But because of my mindset, I was leaning towards going down the pathway towards negativity because I was thinking it doesn't do this that Studio One does. It doesn't do that. And shifting my mindset to think, which is what I'm, which is what I'm doing now, to think that the Akai desktop software, the new 3.5 beta, is a supplement to my MPC standalone. They work together in tandem. It, it enhances the experience. It makes a lot of things a lot easier. Things that I find a little bit fiddly on the MPC One and the MPC Live Two that I own because of the smaller screen. I can't speak for the X because I don't own one. But certainly the touch screen can be a little bit flaky sometimes, especially working in the grid. If I'm working on, you know, you, you have to try and select, then you have to go to the top. You have to set the pencil. Oh no, I've selected the pencil. I meant a raise. Oh no, now I need to go back to select the marquee tool or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And it just, it does become a little bit fiddly. What I'm going to show you today is where I believe for me personally, the the software is going to enhance my experience and even more so as well once it's available as a VST to be to open inside my door which you know obviously the version 2 is at the moment so being able to open the VST have my MPC and that all open in Studio One for me will be amazing but it was just shifting that mindset a little bit you know I was looking at it and I know a lot of other people are as well I, I don't I don't like speaking for other people but I get the impression from forums and from chatting to people that we were looking at it as a potential replacement or as a fully fledged door. And I don't think it's supposed to be a fully fledged door. And if it is a Kai, then it's rubbish. But if you think of it as not being a fully fledged door and being an enhancement or a supplement to the MPC standalone, then it's, you start thinking, ah, now the light bulbs start coming, eureka moments. And you're thinking, yeah, actually, do you know what? This is pretty decent because this helps me do this a lot quicker. So in danger of rambling on for 15 years, because that's already probably four or five minutes of the video gone, could have skipped through it, I suppose. We're actually going to, I'm going to show you some of the things which I've been discovering. This is a voyage of discovery um, that I think working alongside with the software and the NPC have certainly enhanced or made things quicker for me. Okay, so I've got the software loaded up. I've got a drum kit loaded up on my MPC. I don't think I need to go through that all again because I've been through it in quite a few videos. So the point is that when I get started, when I want to start working on a track, I want things to get flowing quickly and I don't really want anything to get in my way. Now, I can get things going pretty quickly in the MPC, but I can get things going quicker on a computer. I'm going to be honest, especially if I want to start building something uh, quite basic to start with, and then maybe I want to start fiddling around with things, then I can jump into the MPC a bit more. But to get things flowing, this is why I prefer using 
a computer. I'm going to be honest. So first things first, learning the shortcuts. It's not going to be a video about learning shortcuts, but just quickly being able to switch between the pencil, the marquee tool and the eraser tool, PME. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Let's go back to the pencil. Things like turning time correct on zero, things like uh, zooming in and out. So hold the control key using the arrow keys on your keyboard. These kind of things just make things quicker and easier. Now you can do that in the MPC. I know you can, but the point is uh, for me personally, I'm not a massive fan of touch screens and it is a bit flaky. Let's be honest. Even even the MPC X, I've seen people having trouble with that sometimes. A couple of people I've seen recently on videos having trouble with the touch screen on that. So it can be a bit flaky, especially in the grid. You know, for instance, in the grid mode, sorry, in the grid, being able to switch between these tools just in itself can sometimes be fiddly and really, really easy to, to forget what you're doing. But with your QWERTY keyboard, just switching between PME, PME, just makes things a lot easier. Now, I suppose my thought process behind this is generally the way that I have my studio set up and I have done for many, many years is I have a monitor in front of me and I have a QWERTY keyboard and a mouse in front of me. Then my NPCs, keyboards, etc., can be on racks. Now, I don't have a lot of hardware anymore. I sold most of it many years ago, but I have my NPC in front of me. But even though it's right in front of me, it is still not exactly what I would call convenient. I have to lean over it. And I'm 53 years old now, so leaning over something for hours on end is not massively comfortable. Now, I know some of us do have the way our studio set up in a way that we've got access directly hands-on. But from looking at other people's videos and looking at other people's setups, generally nowadays, People tend to have their studio set up where they have a QWERTY keyboard and a mouse in front of them. Now look, I know there's going to be people shouting at the screen saying, well, I don't, well, I don't. I have MPC standalone and I sit in the middle of the woods on my own with nothing else but an MPC and my dog. Okay, fair enough. You don't need the software, so don't even need to watch the video. Goodbye. But most of us, I get the impression, have that kind of setup. QWERTY, keyboard, mouse, MPC, maybe to the side, maybe on a rack but it's not always massively convenient. And the whole point of this video is about changing my mindset in that I'm using the software alongside the NPC to supplement it, to, to help it, to enhance it, to make it an easier experience. So I've still got my NPC in front of me and I can see everything I'm doing and I've got access to what I need to in my NPC. And if I wanna chop in my NPC, which I do prefer doing to be honest, I can do that. But after long hours of chopping, leaning over my NPC, not comfortable. So I can do that easily on here. Again, these are shortcuts. I'm using my mouse here. But if you hold, uh, I can't remember what it is now. Yeah, control two, you can zip through these really, really quickly. Now, I know, again, you can do that in your NPC, but not as quickly as that. I'm absolutely telling you 100% it's not as quick. And obviously, it's easier, let's be honest, to edit audio. I find it easier on a computer screen with a mouse and a keyboard. So going back to this window. So we've got pen here and P, yes, P for pen. You can see a lot easier. I can very, very quickly, let's just find a kick. There we go, kick drum. Okay, I can very, very quickly just write four on the floor, bang, 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 same way as you would a step editor. Now, some people would say, yeah, but that's a bit boring, Conan. But yeah, I, I do, don't get me wrong. I do still like the hands-on experience of using my pads. But sometimes, especially with house music, let's be honest, it does tend to go boom, tick, cut, tick, boom, tick, cut, tick. That's pretty much what it tends to do. But it's about using different sounds and doing little adjustments and swing and adding little bits here and there. And I can still do all that live on my NPC if I want. But if I want to get in a good place quickly, not too difficult to do that. Uh, I think that's on the thirds, isn't it? If it's a step. See, then I can start thinking about doing more subtle things. Uh, time correct, zero, turn that off and on. 
can change the swing and it's easier as well switch to marquee to select some some of the notes i know i can do that on the npc i know i can do that with touch screen here but i just find this a lot more fiddly and a lot let's see look what i've just done then i've just accidentally added a note because I had it on pen by mistake. You don't tend to make those errors with a mouse because you have to push down the click button to physically do something. You know, if I'm running around my mouse here, there's nothing being drawn here because I'm not holding down the, the mouse button. As soon as I do that, then yeah, okay, things get drawn. Can get rid of those quickly. Instantly, I've noticed a few graphic issues here when you, when you do this. Often if you just click on them, they go away. So if that does happen, just click. But I'm noticing that could be my graphics card or my computer, or it could be the software but it's another bug that I've reported. So very, very quickly, you know, and let's just say I want to zoom out. I want to see everything. There we go. Can do that easily enough. I can zoom in easily enough. Again, all shortcuts. I know you can do it on the NPC, but it's just easier on a QWERTY keyboard for me personally. Let's just take that down a little bit in the mix. And again, having it, you know, in front of you on a screen rather than having to menu hop, going to track mix, then I would have had to have adjusted things. But I don't have to do that if I've got it on the screen in front of me. Got my NPC there still, could still do all my NPC shit, but I've got my screen in front of me and it's open and I can have the, the entire mixer open if I want. All that stuff there. Oh, I need to edit this quickly. I could do that. And then we go back to the grid again, or the arrangement window, sorry. Yeah, track edit. And main mode if we want. So it's just, just for me personally, it's just making things easier. So at this point, I could, you know, I've done that. Now I can start doing the more fiddly things that I might want to play in live on my npc make sure that you've got it armed yes i have it's a mistake i make so often okay so that's that written in really really quickly Now I'm, I can just select it really quickly. I'm on the marquee tool. There we go. Bang, select. I can turn time control, time. Yes, it's zero. Timing correction off really, really quickly. And there, now I can use the arrow buttons. Can't see it, but it's on my QWERTY keyboard. And I've selected, and I can just nudge this slightly if I want. So being able to nudge things very slightly and get that humanized feeling. Again, I know you can do that in the NPC, but for me personally, it's just easier on a screen in front of me. And that's what I was going on about with the whole mindset change. So there you have it. That was supposed to be a quick video, just talking about changing your mindset or me changing my mindset. But what I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you what I was where I was going with changing my mindset, thinking about the software as being a, a supplement to enhance the experience, to make things easier. And I hope I've got that across because look, I know that there are a lot of people out there that just want to stick with a standalone and that's cool. I, I like doing that sometimes. The reason why I own a live too and why I don't have it set up in my studio is so that I can go and sit in my bed or on the balcony or on my sofa, stick my headphones in and just make beats in standalone. And I absolutely love doing that. And I'm not taking anything away from that. But in my studio, if I want to work like this, where I've got my studio, my QWERTY and all my stuff around me, my different interfaces, my, my stream decks, my little controllers, et cetera, my different headphones, my everything. It's all here. It's all in the studio. I've got my NPC one in front of me, but it's not always convenient to be working on it the way that it's set up. And I think that's the way a lot of people have their studio set up. But I've got my QWERTY keyboard. I've got my monitor in front of me. I've got my mouse. I've still got my NPC there. And I've got everything else. I mean, I've got a few controllers, which I want to hook up to my laptop, which is what I'm working on here. And 
that's going to be able to control everything in the MPC as well. So you've just got everything together just as one big thing, if you think of it as an enhancement and as a supplement, rather than a Kai, this door is rubbish. It doesn't do what Studio One or Pro Tools or Logic or Ableton or Bitwig or whatever you're using, Fruity Loops. People still call it Fruity Loops, so they just call it FL Studio now. Do you show your age if you call it Fruity Loops? Fruit Loops. Fruity Loops. It is Fruity Loops. <laughs> it's Fruit Loops. Anyway, I digress. So the point is, by shifting my mindset, I'm now actually starting to kind of warm to the software a little bit more. And, you know, not just looking at what it can't do that Studio One can do. And not think of in, thinking of it like that, just thinking of it as an extension to the MPC standalone rather than trying to replace my door. So thanks for sticking with me on that one. Thanks for watching. This is the Crates Motel. My name's Conan. Till next time.